Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got a project that was conducted outside. Sphere targets were used, and we're going to register this scan with the sphere targets by uh, jumping directly into pre-processing first. In pre-processing, we're going to choose our top um, main scans folder. Now, uh, if this project had several different clusters, we could choose which cluster we wanted to do. In this case, there isn't, so we'll just choose the entire project and go to Configure Pre-Processing in the top right-hand corner. In your pre-processing screen, there are quite a few different options, and we're going to change some of them here. Uh, there is no color in this project, so colorizing scans, there's, uh, there's no need for it. It says Create Scan Point Clouds. <clears throat> we do not want to create a scan point cloud until after we know this is going to come together. Uh, if we've got a larger project and it creates multiple clusters and has outlying scans, uh, having the um, point cloud created, we're just going to have to delete it uh, until we get everything registered and corrected and then create it again. So there's really no point in creating it before we even know that this is coming together. Um, Lastly, we are going to perform an automatic registration off of pre-processing and it'll ask us the registration method. Because we do have sphere targets, we're going to go from the default top view cloud to cloud and go to a target-based registration. And uh, we go back up to the find targets option here. We're looking for spheres. And lastly, uh, we have a different sphere size that we've used. Uh, we've used a 150 millimeter sphere. So uh, the radii on that has to be changed. And now that that's all completed, we can go ahead and start pre-processing. We have a successful registration with the seven scans. And go over to our, our scan manager and lock it. If we'd like to take a look at what our project looks like registered, uh, we'll try correspondence view first. It looks as though we've got good coverage. You see a lot of color overlap, which indicates that uh, we do have very good coverage from scan to scan. Take a quick look at the project in regular 3D. There was no color used, so we don't have to worry about going and adding it. In general, that's going to be uh, your process for registering scans using Sphere targets. Uh, once again, uh, remember we do have a uh, better result if we get rid of all of the false targets as we saw earlier. Uh, that will tighten up our uh, registration accuracy and uh, ensure you better actual measurement accuracy through the project. Good luck.